This is a demonstration of how to calibrate Harvest Master's new M2.0 moisture model for H2 grain gauges. This calibration uses a preset moisture model that will be shifted or offset based on the samples you provide during calibration. Here are some things to do to prepare for your M2.0 calibration. Do a slope and motion calibration. Do both a plot weight and test weight load cell calibration. You'll need a minimum of two samples with a known moisture. One sample, closest to the industry moisture standard, with a known test weight. The more samples you have, the better. You'll need at least a 3% moisture spread from lowest moisture to highest moisture. The more samples you have within about a 10% range, the better. But two or three samples will suffice. Each sample should weigh at least six pounds, and the samples need to be at ambient temperature. The samples do need to have a natural moisture content, no re-wetting of samples. After connecting to the H2 grain gauge, go to Setup, H2 grain gauge, Moisture Curves, and this is where we'll start the process of creating our new M2.0 model calibration. The initial creation of the calibration hasn't changed, so begin by pressing the plus icon. Here give the calibration a name. We recommend specifying the crop, the year, the chamber insert count, and the calibration type. The name of your calibration will help you know which one to select when entering harvest. Next, enter the number of inserts currently in the test weight chamber. The M2.0 model relies heavily on an accurate test weight, so it is crucial that the insert count matches the number of inserts in the H2 test weight chamber at the time of calibration. If there is a possibility you will use low yield inserts during harvest, we recommend creating multiple calibrations with zero, one, and two inserts while you have the prepared samples ready. Having separate calibrations per insert count is necessary because adding or removing inserts will drastically change chamber volume, which will affect test weight accuracy. To change your calibration method from the default EM curve to the new M2.0 model, toggle the switch to yes. Next, select the grain model. For the 2021 harvest season, models are available for wheat, corn, barley, oats, canola and rapeseed, and soybeans. If you're harvesting a grain that there is currently no model for, leave the toggle at no and proceed with a traditional EM curve calibration. Now that we've given our calibration a name, entered the insert count, enabled M2.0, and selected the grain model, we're ready to begin dumping samples. Click the green arrow to continue to that step. The first sample will require a known moisture and test weight. This sample should be as close to the industry standard moisture as possible. This table can be used as a reference. Enter the known moisture and test weight for this sample in the respective spaces and be prepared to catch the sample. Then dump the sample into the grain gauge and press the green cycle button. Once the reading is taken, the grain will evacuate out of the bottom of the system. Be sure to catch this sample as it is required that you run it through at least twice. Dump the sample into the grain gauge once again and hit the cycle button. We recommend that each sample is dumped through the system three to five times. Now that the first sample has been dumped through at least twice, tap the green arrow to proceed to the next step in the calibration. For the rest of the samples, only known moisture is required. Enter the known moisture of the next sample, dump, and cycle. Again, it is recommended to cycle each sample three to five times. The last value button can be used to restore the moisture entry from the previous sample. You can cycle as many samples as desired, the more the better. From the lowest moisture sample to the highest moisture sample, there must be at least a 3% range, but a range closer to 10% is preferred. Now that all available samples have been cycled through the grain gauge, press the green arrow to finish the calibration. This screen shows the values calculated as a result of your new calibration. In addition to the settings you've seen in the past, notice the offset value at the bottom of the screen. The offset is a value that shifts our existing model to match your benchtop standard. Different grains at different moistures 
have a range of acceptable offsets. So if any offset number is present, the M2.0 model has been calibrated successfully. Once you have verified that an M2.0 offset is present, hit the green check in the bottom right to finish the calibration wizard. The graph and the table in this screen probably look familiar to you. That's because as part of the M2.0 offset calibration, a parallel EM calibration is also created. From this screen, you can dump samples through the grain gauge and cycle them using this yellow cycle button in the bottom left corner. Once the grain is cycled, readings will be displayed in this window. Notice that the M2.0 and EM data are displayed side by side. However, when using this calibration in harvest, only your M2.0 data will be displayed by default. Traditional EM data can be exported using the advanced export option. When you're ready to save the calibration, press the green check in the bottom right. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact HarvestMaster.